Thank you so much to the EA Creator Network for sponsoring this video. Ooh! Ooh, on the street! <laughs> What is up everybody? It is me Solita Sims. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going back into the world of Ciudad and Amarada and paying another visit to my newest sim Celeste Singh because y'all really showed out. Y'all really showed out for the first video I made covering the new Sims 4 Lovestruck expansion pack. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoying. I was very surprised with how well that video went and how well it was received. You guys obviously loved meeting Celeste and watching her woohoo with every man in Ciudad and Amarada. We had a lot of things happen a lot of chaos some messiness some home wrecking involved some heartbreaks oh poor carlos and since you guys love that challenge so much of her woohooing with every man in ciudad and amarada i figured huh maybe we should try every woman next and i know i know i said in that episode that celeste is a straight woman but oh would you, would you look at that here oh romantic exploration oh woohoo women and men how how did <laughs> How did that get there? Ah, uh, I have no clue. Let's be real. When have I ever made a straight sim on purpose? Exactly. So I figured today we're going to do the same exact thing we did last video, but this time we're going to go and woohoo with all the women here in the CE, and that would be Valentina Nadir, who is Aziz Nadir's wife, who we met last episode. And by meet, we woohooed his brains out in both the new <laughs> closet location that comes with Lovestruck and on his and his wife's bed. Carmen Ortiz, yes, we're going to be getting some elderly... <laughs> some elderly ancient samusi. Yep, yes we are. Why not? Why not try it out? And Monica Lopez. And Monica, the funny thing about Monica Lopez is that she is Carlos Lopez's mother. And and she is also woohooing with Manuel Aguilar, who is another one of Celeste Conquest from the last video. And besides that, I've also read on Twitter here that there is a ring bearer that walks around the CE. Their name is Sammy Garcia. And I actually did see Sammy walking around the CE. From what I hear, from what I hear, I'm not 100% sure, so do not quote me on this. If you find Sammy's ring, I don't know if it's an engagement ring or a promise ring, whatever it is, if you find their lost ring in the CE, and you bring it back to Sammy, they turn into a human or they ask you on a date. I don't know, but I'm loving the lore. So that is going to be our fourth conquest is the ring bearer, Sammy Garcia. So just like last time, there are four different Sims we will be going after with Celeste as the star of the show. So without further ado, let's get right back into the chaos. And if you still haven't bought the Love Struck expansion pack and you're interested in supporting me as a creator and supporting this channel, I'm happy to announce that I've become an EA affiliate, meaning whenever you buy any Sims 4 DLC from the Sims 4 official website or on the EA app and you use my code Salita Sims, I will receive a small 5% commission from that sale. So if you'd like to support me, this would be a great way in doing so. Again, that is Solita Sims on the Sims 4 official website or on the EA app when purchasing any Sims 4 DLC. Thank you guys so much for your love and support always. It is about 8 o'clock in the morning here in Ciudad and Amarada. We are in Celeste's penthouse and I think the first thing we're gonna do, oh real quick, look at this outfit it does come with the pack our girl's a little embarrassed because of what happened the other day <laughs> <laughs> Carlos caught her quote quote cheating on him with Manuel. Girl, you tripping over nothing. That man was garbage, okay? And you weren't even cheating because you guys weren't in a relationship. Hey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, leave her alone. Yes, she became friends, more than friends actually with Yoltik. And Yoltik, oh, I love Yoltik. I miss Yoltik. Hopefully, maybe he'll just drop by for a minute in this video because he's so adorable. Jeffrey, leave her alone. She's not interested, okay? We were just trying to cause some drama, cause some chaos, and we did so successfully. Anyways, yes, Celeste is still a little embarrassed from what happened, but overall, she's feeling pretty good. She still has the chosen one moolet from Carlos, which is insane after everything that man put you through. No. And thinking about starting a new relationship, <laughs> Celeste is tired of casual dating and is ready to start long-term, serious relationship with someone who wants the same thing. Should she? Hmm, maybe, maybe, but that'd be for another episode, girly. Not today, not today. No, sorry. I'm still going to put you through this BS. I'm, I'm sorry. I must. The viewers are like, liking it. 
So I'm not going to begin the chaos just yet by going straight over to the Lopez house and hopefully having Carlos witness Celeste get down dirty with his mom. What I'm thinking is we get conquest number one out of the way, which would be Valentina Nadir. So we're going to go back to the Nadir household and apparently Aziz isn't there. Oh, we forgot to shave our arms. That's okay. That's okay. She's still killing it. I gave her new outfits all from this pack yet again. The set is so cute. Girl, I'm going to need you to stop being embarrassed, okay? It's not a big deal. Who cares about Carlos and here we are back again at the Nadir household and oh my god Aziz is here <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So, I remember from last episode, what was it? When we were trying to make Valentina jealous, we realized that having woohoo with her man wasn't something that she cared about because of her relationship preferences. From my knowledge, everything triggers jealousy for her except, I think it was physical romance excluding woohoo. So, if we were to kiss Aziz in front of her, that would make her upset? Or was it non-physical? I, it was one or the other, I completely forgot, but that was for Valentina. I don't know if the same is for Aziz. So I'm thinking of experimenting and maybe trying to flirt with Valentina and seeing if that makes Aziz upset. And we have this new romantic introduction to get started. Oh my God, she's just gonna be there patiently waiting. <laughs> Look at her, she's like, God, I wish that were me. <laughs> And she's still a little bit bitter towards Aziz right now because for her, everything triggers her jealousy. So seeing him do this with her is making her upset, even though that's literally his wife. Celeste is so funny. Like, girl, you can't. But whatever, it's fine. Time to get your lick back. Let's see what happens. Ooh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> He's upset. Yes. <laughs> Celeste has learned Aziz's romantic boundaries. Non-physical romance will trigger jealousy, so that did make him upset, obviously. Physical romance, excluding Woohoo, triggers jealousy, and Woohoo will trigger jealousy. Wow, he is terrible. Oh my goodness. He's probably one of those guys that was in a relationship with this woman for a long time, right? They were married for a while, and he was like, baby, this just isn't doing it for me. I think it's best for our relationship to keep us strong if I'm able to bang other people. Not you, though. Not you, though just me. I think that's exactly how the conversation between he and his wife went. Oh, you're terrible. Oh, I have no regrets about this now. She does not care. <laughs> she does not care. Oh my God, he's upset. He's whispering to himself in the office. <gasps> Why? Why are you doing this? Well, that did not go well. It was an awkward social encounter. And now she has anxiety of being alone, girl. In the future, girl, we, we will get you someone. We will get you a life partner. I'm so sorry, okay, that I'm putting you through this. Okay, now she's embarrassed, I'm guessing, because Aziz caught her. So let's just learn that Valentina has the following skill. Romance. I'm wondering how high she is in it. Can we find out, maybe, Miss Valentina? <laughs> Well, here's the thing. I've learned from my journey with Yoltik. Okay, I've learned. So I'm going to guess the reason why she didn't flirt back was because she's romantically reserved. I'm just going to take a wild guess. I'm not 100% sure if that's true, but that's what I'm going to go with. So we're going to we're gonna be nice to her. Where are you going? Giving herself a pep talk right now when you have a guest over. Girl, I'm trying to get with you. Stop it. You really pretty. <laughs> like, really pretty. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to... She leaving for work. No, Valentina. <gasps> Valentina. Okay. Okay, she's out the door. Fine, fine. She wants to be like that, that's fine. We have more conquests. Okay, let's go <laughs> to the park and let's see if we can find that ring bearer, okay? Because I'm very curious about this, honestly. I have no idea what that's about. And if it's something that's lore driven like that, I'm very interested. Okay, we're here at the park. And the last time I saw the ring bearer when I was playing, he was, or she, or they, I have no clue. They were over here in this area. So I'm just gonna have to have a look around. Maybe in the meantime, she can actually go ahead and get some food because she is hungry and I've wanted to explore these vendor stations for a minute. Let's see what this one is. We have Plantanos Fritos, Taquitos, Grilled Fish Taya Style, and Pambazo. And then over here we have Pambazo, Fish Tacos, and Vegan Pambazo. Oh, that sounds so good. Okay, we're gonna have her get the Vegan Pambazo. While she does that, I search for the bear. I think it's purple or blue. Jeffrey, goddammit. I don't want to pass moral judgment, but I heard that you were caught cheating on your partner. You should try to keep your private affairs more pri Says you. What were you doing last episode, Jeffrey? You were literally flirting with Celeste in front of your wife in a public park. He called her. He called her. I can't believe you are still seeing Yoltsik. I don't get what you see in him. Who asked? Who asked? <laughs> 
the nerve of this man. I'm sick of him. This is so depressing. You can't swim in here. You can only go fishing. It's a heart-shaped pond. Why can't I go swimming in the heart-shaped pond? Where is this bear? <gasps> oh my god. Look who it is. <laughs> Christopher, what are you doing in this safe file? What are you doing looking for love? What are you doing being on Cupid's Corner, buddy? You got more important things to worry about. Bear, come on. I chose the bear. I will always choose the bear. Where is this bear? I'm, I'm losing my mind. Where is this? Where is this bear? You know what I noticed? Oh, by the way, if her conquests look a little different, I gave most of them makeovers, okay? I did not give Aziz a makeover because he's probably the one I care about the least, but I did give Yoltik, Manuel, and Carlos makeovers. So if we see them today, you'll see their makeovers in full details. Anyway, I was looking at... <laughs> Carlos's profile. Down here are the sentiments. And look at this one. Celeste is needing space from Carlos. Carlos has been moving way too fast. Man proposed to her a day after knowing her. They both decided they were the one for each other within two minutes of meeting each other. This is a very appropriate sentiment. And then Carlos's are dejected about rejection because of her rejecting his marriage proposal and then furious about cheating, which is hilarious. Oh my God, pause pause i found the bear i found the bear this is sammy garcia the ring bear i don't know what's going on i don't know anything about this but i am so intrigued look how sad it is <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. This bear will also tell you about what comes with this new pack, by the way. You can ask about the romantic blanket, satisfaction, dating, attraction, all these things. But yeah, there's something we're supposed to do or ask that, I don't know, makes them turn into a human or makes them ask you on a date. I'm not sure, but we're going to try it out. Let's let's ask about the bear costume. Look how sad Sammy is. Sammy, no. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, uh, whoa two of you life's been busy just want to check in and see how are you doing hope all is well I hope everything is terrible with you Yoltik I know it's last minute but my job is having a casino night to raise some money for charity and I have an extra seat on my table not right now you know you know maybe maybe soon but no I have another conquest right here you're walking girl you're taking a thousand years for the love of god run okay She's here. Let's ask the bear about his costume. Okay, it's a guy. What do you mean a bear costume? I'm a bear. <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry, my bad. I did not mean to offend you. I apologize. <laughs> we, we have, <laughs> we're in the red. I really offended him. I'm sorry. Um, I apologize. That wasn't my intention, Mr. Bear. Okay, now we're asking him about his sadness. We can give him a pity hug after that. What's making you so sad, Mr. Bear? Okay, here we go. Lots of reasons, friend. The main reason I've lost my ring. Aw. Well, I sort of threw it in the nearby pond. I tried fishing it out, but I'm terrible at fishing. That was always her thing. Aw. Not me feeling sympathetic for this bear. If you're able to fish it out, let me know. That ring has some kind of special romantic magic about it. I can tell you more later. Okay, so the nearby pond, the heart pond, right over here, we have to fish out his ring, give it back to him, and then he'll tell us all about it, or we'll finally be able to see what he looks like. Okay, pity hug. Pity hug. Okay, well, he's in our friendship panel now, somewhat. There's nothing about him really going on in his profile, so I guess we just have to try to fish out this ring. The thing is that Celeste doesn't have any fishing skills so i don't know how long this is gonna take i'm not gonna just try to do this in one stretch we'll come back in between our sessions with our ladies that we'll be meeting and woohooing with but we'll go ahead and give it a shot right now this pond is so pretty i'm literally so upset that i can't swim in it she just got a common upgrade part yeah this is gonna this is gonna take a minute the things we do for woohoo the things we do for woohoo he came to cry at the pond because he can't find his ring that is so pathetic <laughs> Bear, I'm sorry. I'm. She's working on it. Can't you tell? Oh my god, he's so upset. Oh. Well, that was a mood crusher. Sad bear from hugging the ring bear. That poor sad guy dressed as a bear and having delusions made Celeste cry. <laughs>
So I was still here fishing for the bear's ring and I got this call from Valentina. You have been selected for the seven wild dates romance based reality show. If you choose to participate, you'll be tasked with having seven consecutive perfect dates while hitting cameras record your every move. If you complete all dates perfectly, you will be awarded with a grand prize. Warning by signing up for this, you consent to being filmed for the next week. Sign me up. Remember my love is not for sale. I want to do this so bad. I saw this happen on Twitter and I was like, this is crazy that this comes to the new pack. I think this is so interesting interesting but this is not the topic for today's video but i'm hoping in the future she does ask me to do this again because we will definitely be doing it but for today no her love is not for sale we respect that it's okay we have another reality show idea love isle crumble bottom edition it's going to be great so hopefully in the future valentina will give us another call again and we'll be able to do that but i think that's so interesting as for right now i'm getting her fishing skill up to level two and then after that we'll be leaving and we will be going to see carmen ortiz who is in the dynamic daters household, the same household that Manuel and Yoltik are a part of, which is ugh, might be a little drama going on. And we're going to go get us some elderly Samusi, babe. Okay, we're here at the dynamic daters household and ooh, look who happens to be outside. Yoltik is here. This is the makeover I gave him. I'm really happy with it. <laughs> I think he looks so good, like so good, like wickedable. I want to use wicked whims on him, not to woohoo, but I still don't have wicked whims installed again because it's still broken, which is completely fine. He is here. He's looking good as ever. Oh, you ruined it by doing the push-ups, dude. You really did. But I did see in the window there she is. Carmen Lopez is here. But let's go ahead and give her a shot. An elderly woman? I'm. I've never done this before. We're gonna hit it off with a big romantic introduction. I'm so sorry. Sorry, Yoltik, if you see this, like, please ignore it. Please ignore it because I really like him. I would really, I really would like them to like end up together. I don't know. I think they're cute. Oh, yeah, woo her. Oh, she's liking it. She's liking it. Oh, what are the first sentiments, girl? What? What is that? What's your first impression? Okay, so Celeste's about Carmen is sentiment of appreciation. Her first impression is adventurous. The Sim seems has lived so much. Is that because she's old? Gee, I wonder why she seemed to have lived so much. In a city one day, in another the next, from job to job, to love affair to yet another, it makes them a little fascinating. Okay, so she finds her fascinating overall, but Carmen doesn't look like she's thinking the same thing about Celeste. Hers was anti-crush, just like with Yoltik. Why? What is wrong with Celeste to make y'all think this? Okay, I get it. She's toxic. <laughs> She's probably witnessed what happened between her and Manuel and Carlos. And maybe she doesn't want anything to do with it, but that's that's just too bad. I don't know how I want to approach this. I think I just want to flirt off the bat and see if she hates it or not. Oh, she hates it. Okay. Today's not working out for her. <laughs> last episode it was so easy to flirt with all the guys except for Yoltik and now it's becoming a little bit harder for her over here and it doesn't help that she's embarrassed and her confidence is kind of low right now fine so we'll have to butter her up I guess we'll have to do some small talk some friendly interactions and try this again no one is making this easy I hate it oh and Manuel is also here and I did give him the liberty of giving him a makeover as well <laughs> Oh, wicked whims. I miss you so much right now. You have no idea. Ah, uh, I don't want to flirt with her in front of them. I like them both. But I know I have to start drama. I do, I do, I do. But right now I'm not going to flirt with her anyway because she's basically like Yoltik 2.0. She has the charisma skill. Let's have a deep conversation with her. Talk about fashion. Ask about occult beliefs. She's level four of the charisma skill now. Maybe that will help her a bit. Their friendship bond is going up which is great where are we going okay she could still do push-ups that's good can you you want to do them on top of my girl celeste oh my god it's really late and it's day one and we have a woohoo with anybody okay there's this romantic little tree out here i'm thinking we just go out there with carmen and we just sit and we talk with her alone out here in the dark in the beautiful city of ciudad and amarada we're still chatting we're still talking because our friendship bar isn't that high yet i don't know if i should wait until they're good friends or if i should just risk it i'm thinking about just risking it because this is going on for a while. Let's flirt. Let's see what happens. <gasps> oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. This is working out well. Okay, Granny. Okay. Romantic 
satisfaction begins. Yes, yes. Oh, now she's flirting back. Okay, this is working out great. Let's go ahead and have them have their very first kiss. Celeste has learned the following about Carmen. She's non-committal. Girl, we do not care. We do not care. We're here for the woohoo and that's it. They're gonna have a magical first kiss in the air. This is from one of Sacrificial's mods. I forget which one, but I'll let you guys know. There we go. <laughs> Finally, it's go time. On the blanket we go. On the blanket we go. Let her say yes. She said yes. New romantic <laughs> dynamic steamy. It's awfully warm in here. And Celeste and Carmen can't seem to keep their hands off each other. Romantic partners with a steamy romantic dynamic gravitate towards romantic socials with each other, especially physical intimacy. Would you describe the romance between Celeste and Carmen as being steamy? Yes, 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 I do. Yes, I do. Oh, she has the snooty walk. I did not know that. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Manuel. That we're um, tainting your guys' a spot now, but it's the girls' time to shine now. Yes! There they go! Flopping around like a fish out of water, honey. Look at them going to town. I did not know Granny had moves like this. We finally have conquest number one. There. <laughs> I love this. Little hearts flying from her. I think that's from the mod, not from this pack. But it looks like she loved it. Okay. First conquest, Carmen Ortega down. And she's very hungry and very tired. So we're going to let her go handle that now. Okay. Yoltig didn't notice what we were doing. And I don't think... Manuel did either. No, they did not. So that's a good thing because I want to still stay in their good graces. <laughs> Honestly, I don't care about Aziz or Carlos. And speaking of Carlos, I'm thinking it's time we go ahead and finally break his heart all over again. Pay him a little visit and pay his mommy a little visit as well. Let's head over to the Lopez household. Ooh, the Lopez family got a nice house. Look at that. And right outside is Carlos's is mommy. Monica Lopez is here. She's also from the gameplay trailer. And an Another thing I wanted to do, something else I want to explore with this pack, when you go shopping and I think it's, yeah, you can purchase romantic items from not only this pack, but also Horse Ranch and Crystal Creations. You can buy wine, you can buy jewelry, you could buy flowers, and where is it? The Sweetheart's Box that comes with this pack, which has candied figs, strawberries, some truffles. I definitely have to use one of these donut drops. I have to use these with somebody. I don't know who I'm going to use them with, but I'm going to go ahead and have a box of chocolate covered strawberries in her inventory maybe a rose bouquet i think that'd be super cute and since she's standing outside honey we got some work to do but first let me actually have her change her outfit new lady new outfit something simple but very cute this is very nice all from the new pack carlos is gonna be so pissed when he sees her walk into the house <laughs> oh she like it? She liked it. Okay. All right. Let's look at those first impressions. Looks like they both got a good one about each other. So hers about Monica is reasonable, a sentiment of appreciation. How nice to meet a Sim who seems as reasonable, well-balanced as Monica. Crush off the bat. Finally, some grace. <laughs> Valentina gave me his shoes. It was Ralph with Carmen. Finally, we have a break here. Monica already likes her off the bat and it looks like she's already flirting with her. Oh no, okay. Celeste is gonna flirt with her and it's working immediately. Thank goodness. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's offer her a rose. What, oh, okay. Look at that. Look at that. This is working out so well already. The romantic satisfaction has already began. They're already holding hands. Gee, we can already have a magical first kiss. Are you kidding? Oh, Carlos, this is this is your revenge. <laughs> Carlos is coming. Carlos is coming. Oh, Carlos is coming. Hey, buddy. How's it feel to see me kiss your mom? Oh my God, not him still being obsessed with her. You just saw me kiss your mother and you're still, wow, he must be down horrendous for her. Do you see we're in the middle of something here? Ask to seductive dance. Ooh, Ooh on the street. <laughs> Oh, come on. He's acting like it doesn't bother him. You know it does. He just 
told his sibling to go away. That's so mean. I hate him so much. You're telling me this doesn't bother you. You're watching your mother seductively dance on the street for your ex. He he's such he's such a liar. You know damn well he's pissed. Oh, oh girl. Oh girl. Oh my goodness. Break it down. They both have no shame. I love this. <laughs> Work it, honey. Work it. Yes. Let's get straight to it. In fact, I'm thinking, where is Carlos's room? This has to be his room, right? This has to be. Okay, this one. Nah, I don't think this is his room. I feel like this is his sibling's room, and that's definitely his mom's room. So, um, Monica, how would you feel to uh woohooing on your son's bed? Oh, <gasps> she said no. I'm not interested in woohoo with women. No. <laughs> No! No! She's just into romance. No. My heart just shattered. My heart just broke into a million pieces. Are you serious, woman? You string me along this far. We're making out. We're dancing seductively in the streets like lunatics just to tell me, oh, I'm not interested in woohoo with women. Sitch! Well, we failed. <laughs> Carmen is not interested in woohoo with women. Therefore, we cannot complete this challenge. <laughs> so, oh, even though they're, oh, is this a new kiss? Oh, wow, that kiss goes crazy. That kiss goes crazy. How can you kiss me like that and not woohoo me? Are you for real? Aw, that's depressing. That's depressing. I wanted to get down and dirty on our son's bed. Okay, well, since we can't do that, I might as well just break out the chocolate covered strawberries just for the fun of it because we can't woohoo with her. Let's go sit over here and eat our chocolate covered strawberries. God, that is heartbreaking. I, I expected to encounter at least one of these Sims to not be attracted to women. I'm surprised we've actually met this many Sims who are attracted to women. But, oh my God. God, and now they have a new romantic dynamic. Please, girl, please. You don't even want to woohoo with me? Oh, that's cute. Oh, this is depressing. I hate this. Like, I wanted to really ruin Carlos's bed. Well, time to move on. And Carlos wasn't even that mad about watching his mom dance in the street with some random stranger. I hate it here. I wanted more drama, but that's okay because we still have the Nadir household. But right now, we're not going to be going to the Nadir household. We're going to go back to Media Naranja to go fish again in that damn heart pond to find that ring for the damn ring bear, <laughs> Sammy Garcia. Oh no. Look who's here. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, okay. Real quick, real quick, quick intermission. The land grabs are here. We were messing with them last episode and Jeffrey's been harassing my girl literally nonstop. Um, maybe, maybe we should just cause a little bit more drama between them, you know, flirt with him a little bit more. Here we go. <laughs> she's still gonna go and sit and sky gaze with him even though she's pissed at him. Yup. Yup. Go ahead and watch that, Miss Nancy. Go right ahead. Oh, he seems to have really liked that, too. Oh, he really liked it, girl. What do you think about that? Uh, <laughs> right in front of her. Oh, my goodness. You can watch this next, girl. They also got the steamy romantic dynamic. Okay, this is popping up a little too much, I think. Don't mind us. We're just going to go examine the closet real quick. Nothing, nothing major here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. Nancy, if only- Oh, she tweaking. Oh my god. She all over the place. Look at that. <laughs> girl, if only you knew how much he was calling up my girl's phone all day, all night. He was getting jealous, worried about who she was seeing romantically and everything. There is no point in being sneaky, honey. She already witnessed the whole thing. Girl, no, don't tell me you're gonna do that again. With him? After what just happened? I guess she's used to it. I don't know. Nancy, girl, you don't know your worth, honey. He just banged another girl in the closet. You're acting like nothing's wrong. Ooh, we have tender neck kiss. This is from this pack. I don't think I've seen this or used this before. Ooh. <laughs> girl, don't walk away. Don't walk away. You're missing the show. Oh, ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> she... 
I got my wish. I got my wish. I got my wish. I got my wish. She just died from heartbreak. Oh, oh my God. I didn't expect that to happen so quickly. <laughs> Oh, Nancy, your eyes are still a bit open. Okay. Oh, Jeffrey, please. You're putting on this show. Don't act like you care. Do not act like you care. Girl, don't act like you care either. You were trying to ruin these people. Oh, the drama. Oh, I love this. Damn. Damn, I'm a murderer. I'm a murderer. <laughs> She's not taking a selfie. <laughs> Why is Grim coming to talk to her? No, I don't need another one of my Sims to get with Grim. Not today. We successfully ruined the land grabs' marriage forever, considering Nancy is now dead. So I think it's going <laughs> time to go back to business and continue fishing for Sammy Garcia's ring. Do I feel bad? No. Nancy deserves suffering in every save file, and I will stand by that. Oh, and if you're enjoying this video so far, maybe think about leaving a like, comment, and subscribe for me. It really helps me out. Thank you so much. What a beautiful, beautiful day to kill Nancy Landgrab. There's something beautiful in the air, and the thing is she's barely affected by it, which is so funny to me. Sorrow from broken hearts, less in tears, romance should never feel like this. <laughs> girl. I'm really hoping we can find this dude's ring sooner than later because I feel like this is going to take a really long time. I think I'm going to get her fishing skill up to level three or four, see if she catches the ring. And after that, we are going to head back over to the Nadir household. Valentina is our last conquest besides Sammy. In order to get with Sammy, we're going to have to find this ring. I'm really hoping Valentina likes women. I'm going to be so sad if she doesn't. And then after that, we'll work our way back to Sammy Garcia. Guys, we caught it. We caught a strange ring. Oh my God. Did we seriously get it? Oh my God. A ring. What's this? A ring has some kind of magical aura about it. We found Sammy's ring. Hold up. I didn't think it happened so quick. Oh my goodness. She really found it. Oh my God. There's some odd markings inside. It's some Ford of Namish. Celeste can't read it. Maybe the sad looking ring bear next to the fountain over at the Plaza Mariposa can help me read it. Is he here though? Oh, he's sleeping. <laughs> he's sleeping on a pitch wake him up wake him up push for bear costume answers okay we're yeah we're gonna push him before we give him this ring we need answers okay we need all the juicy bear romance drama we can get mr bear i have your ring you are not going anywhere stop no 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 i reset him i don't care <laughs> I'm not gonna keep searching for this man. Tell me. Tell me, honey. Okay, looks like he's given her the answers. I once was a sim like you. I used to think love was the meaning of life. It is not. It is a vicious cesspool of rejection that will turn... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> He sounds like me. That's crazy. It is a vicious cesspool of rejection that will turn your heart into a bag of shattered glass. I tried to use the ring's magic or whatever to fix everything, but it just backfired. Now I'm cursed to live my remaining years as a bear. Just be careful. That is so hilarious. I'm sorry. That is not even sad. That's hilarious. Okay. Anyways, no, stop it. Ask him about the ring again. Maybe because I don't have any, I don't see any interaction to give it to him just yet. Huh? You found it. Nice job. Yeah. That ring has some kind of special romantic magic about it. You can't read it. You say there are a few who can. Let me see here. It says something, something about a fountain. Weird. I don't know. You better not listen to me. I'm just a bear. A fountain, huh? Well, there's this one, which for love, happiness, steal from fountains, search fountain for clues. Oh my God. There really does come lore with this pack. Okay. I'm interested. Uh, okay. Bye bear. Okay. Let's see what this beautiful, but mysterious fountain has to say. She's searching for clues. I don't know how you could do that when you're like 10 feet away from the fountain, but okay. Celeste is barely able to make out the odd markings at the bottom of the fountain. That looks like the markings from inside the ring. Interesting. Maybe she should go talk to the ring bear about this if he doesn't leave, which he he probably already did. Now I can insist on bear costume answers and ask about the odd markings. Okay, let's do both. More answers. Tell me the tea, honey. I was engaged, yeah, proposed to my dearest and thought we were made for each other, but then that ring cursed me. It turned me into the bear you see before you now. I strongly advise that you do not fall in love. Oh my God, he's a pessimist about love. And then we asked about the marking. You found some more odd markings. Sheesh, what were those gnomes up to? Oh wait, there was something about a wall of some kind? I can't bear. That's... <laughs> Come on. 
Come on, some steam. Please. I can't bear to think about it any more than that. I hope that helps. It probably doesn't. At least he's self-aware. A wall. Okay. The only wall I can think of is that wall near the lounge. Like the woman and the man on it. Is there another wall nearby? Okay. I guess we're gonna go to that wall before we visit the Nadir household again. It's probably good though that we're busy doing this because Valentina is most likely at work. That girl seems to never skip a day of work. She's always leaving. There's a celebrity making a rare appearance at the lounge. Um, it's just Judith Ward. Okay. It's just Judith Ward. Let's not get excited. Okay. She's not all that. Oh, he's here. So this is the wall he's talking about. Look for clues on the wall. Not him crying at the wall. Buddy, he's so depressed. Honey, I can fix you. Honey, I can fix you. Take off that bear costume and let's get to work, baby. Looking for some clues on the wall. Celeste looks over the decorative wall depicting a young romantic couple. This must be what the ring bear was talking about. Hmm, there's some markings near the bottom. Celeste looks closer. Of course, Celeste has learned the ring can be activated by rubbing it. Should she try it? Oh, we're trying it, honey. Go ahead. Oh, what happened? What happened? Whoa, Celeste rubs the ring and begins to feel tingly all over, but in a good way. Is this what turning into a bear feels like? Don't tell me she's actually going to turn into a bear. No, this is not what I meant by choose the bear. No, Celeste is feeling confident now, like she can magically romance some new sims. Now that the quest is complete, Celeste has unlocked the magical ring that can be put on via the dresser and create a sim. Oh my goodness. Plead for the bear costume explanation. I want to see what this man looks like. We have all this confidence <gasps> he took it off he took it off hold up hold up before we see his face i want to see what the pop-up said i'm glad you figured out my ring i guess i started dressing as a bear after my fiance gave my ring back or maybe the ring was cursed who knows all i know is when i was a kid my mom used to dress as a bear with me it was a bit of a phase i went through i guess i missed her i can stop being a bear now oh we solved his problem. Now we got to see what this hottie looks like. I've heard he's hot. I've heard he's hot. <gasps> oh. Uh, uh, uh. When y'all said hot, y'all underestimated him. This man is fine. This man is fine. Fine. Hello, Sammy. How are you? Oh, I think he, he wins over Manuel. Well, we completed the quest and he's walking away all sad now. Okay, that's fine. I am so happy we were able to complete this in this episode because this man, oh my goodness, I am keeping him in mind for the next video because this man is so nice. So technically, my last video isn't complete because we were supposed to woohoo with every man in Ciudad Namorada and we did not get with him him so we're we're gonna have to get with him at some point trust me we will look at that muscle <laughs> well that was fun i'm glad we completed it and we got the ring and all that i think we still have it in her inventory we do and we can sell it for five grand if we wanted to but it's also in create a sim so we can have her wear it at some point that is awesome all right since that is now out of the way our last thing to do is visit the nadir household and finally get with valentina we're just gonna have to see where this goes and if we can even do it so let's head on over there here we go again i saw as we were loading in that valentina was here so hopefully oh Ooh, they're working out their issues <laughs> you see they're both mad at each other monica's calling now god i forget how many <laughs> How many sims Celeste has gotten with? Hey, you just wondering if you want to grab your skates and hit the rink with me? No. No, you tease. Oh my God. They're yelling at each other. Oh my goodness. Why is Santa calling me? I'm wealthy. Very wealthy. Just last month, I bought Social Bunny in Cupid's Corner. Santa, no. Just straight up bought them. You caught my eye and I was hoping to get the chance to meet you in person. I know it's a lot to ask, but I have gifts for you. What do you say? The way this pack has been shading Elon Musk relentlessly is hilarious to me. Hilarious. But no thank you, Santa. Okay, no thank you. Fair enough. I have to get back to running Social Bunny anyways, which involves posting at least 12 incoherent posts a day oh they're in a bad place i ruined yet another marriage he was just yelling at her damn things are about to get a lot worse for you aziz oh she's so angry things are bad here calm down calm down calm down yes chill relax oh she did that all on her own oh right in front of him she's flirting back now oh my goodness they're going at it by themselves i'm not doing a single thing dude he doesn't know what to do to himself he's just pacing back and forth in me. <laughs> 
their satisfaction has begun. Oh, are you Wi-Fi? <laughs> Is your name Google? Do you have an extra, do you sit in sugar? Goodbye. Dude, figure out what to do with yourself. Yoltik's calling again. I think Ty Lin is pretty cute. Should I ask her out? No. How dare you? How actually dare you, Yoltik? What? No way. You're asking that to me as if I'm not your romantic interest? Oh, you just lost a point. Oh, you just lost a point. Manuel and Sammy are now above you. And this is heartbreaking for me because I love Yoltik. Yoltik's a sweetheart. He was honestly my favorite. He still is, but that is wrong. That is wrong. I don't think it's a good idea. You know what? No, you should go think about it for yourself. You, you should think about that for yourself. Hmm. Do I want to go with this random sitch or do I want to go out with the girl Celeste Singh that I know very well that I had spectacular woohoo with who I bonded with, even though I'm romantically reserved, romantically reserved my butt at this point. Okay. No. Do you sit in sugar because you have a soul? <laughs> I have to blur that out. Is your name Google because you've got everything I'm searching for? Try asking my phone number to find out. Oh! Okay, it's time to go to Pound Town. And yep, we're doing it on their bed. Oh, that's right. I have to kiss her first. And we're going to give it, again, a magical kiss in the air just to rub it in his face a little bit. A little bit. A lot. I'm stealing your wife, buddy. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> Spring sweet nothings to each other. All right, it's go time. He just keeps coming back to watch. Like, this is just. <gasps> Why'd you say no? No way. No way. No way. No way. She's not interested in woohoo with women. Of course, this would happen. Of course, this would happen. Of course, this would happen. No! Okay, well, at least if we didn't get to woohoo Valentina, we did screw up her marriage even more. So that is somewhat satisfying. That kind of is like woohoo, I guess. It's better than woohoo, if I might say. Because look at him. He's so pissed off. Well, that was disappointing. Severely disappointing. But I am not surprised. And he is leaving because he's so upset. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I had a goal for this video. My video was to woohoo with all the women in this city, but unfortunately, two of them are not interested in woohoo with women. So in order to make it up to y'all, I think we should go after Sammy Garcia now. So I'm thinking we go out and we try to get with him. Since nothing else is working in my favor, at least though, this one is upset. That's what he deserves. And I think what I want to do with Sammy is I want to explore the dating features that come with this pack. So let's go ahead and let's ask to, let's, let's go ahead and ask to create a date. Usually I wouldn't have my Sims, my female Sims do this because they're too pretty to ask a guy on a date. Should be the opposite, but that's fine. Hmm. We can do a romantic date or a get to know date. I want to do a romantic date, I think, because that man's so fine. <laughs> what are the activities? Oh, we want woohoo for sure. <laughs> Oh, they can drink. She loves to dance. She does have the dance machine trait. So we'll do dancing and we'll have socialize, be funny and socialize, be friendly. And then we're going to go ahead to the nightclub uptown. Or actually, it's right over here, huh? Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. OK, we're here. Sammy is here. He is still a heartbroken wreck, obviously, but he's also still fine as hell. So, hey, I'm going to go into MC Command Center and I want to see what his outfits are real quick because I'm want him to get into like a little nice date outfit. I went ahead and I put him in his party outfit then. Look at him. He looks schnazzy. He knows how to clean up. And then her, we're going to go ahead and change her as well. Super cute. Super cute. Okay. Oh my God. I forgot about her arms. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I can tell from the thought bubbles that Vlad is still tending this bar. Very nice. Let's go ahead and just begin to talk with him. He is super sad, apparently. Hopefully his traits are good and he's not like Carlos and mean. Oh, flirting off the bat. Okay, let's go ahead and get to know him a bit. What does he do for work? I feel like he's unemployed. Oh, he's not. He's a visionary of vases at Peter's Petals and Pods Landscaping. Okay. Aw, look, he's happy now because he's with her. How cute. Let's go ahead and maybe order a couple of drinks. Something sexy, you know, something date material like dry champagne with strawberries. Yes, come sit at the bar with me. Let's talk. Oh my God, I hate that Judith's here. I'm gonna make her leave. I'm sorry. Just go away. Look at him. He looks so good. 
I want to take a ride on the Sammy Express. Okay, he has one redeeming quality. He has the good trait. Okay, so long as we know he's not mean or evil, we're good. Let's go ahead and flirt with him. She's obviously in the mood, so we need to get this going along. I'm sure you're forgetting all about your ex right now. Discuss interest. Romantic satisfaction has began. I think he's liking her, y'all. I think he's liking her. Not him whipping out the cube. Bro, you're on a date. Things seem to be going very well. And they finished their romantic socialization. Are they? Oh. Oh, the body roll, girl. On the club. Shameless. Shameless. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes, girl. Yes. Oh! Oh! Y'all take. Y'all take. Y'all take. No! Huh? Oh! Oh no. Not the kiss and grind mod. Not right in front of Sammy. Oh, y'all take. Oh, y'all take. You're wrong for this. Y'all take. You are a menace for this. An absolute menace. Right in front of sammy he said enough is enough i want you woman and he's just gonna walk away like nothing happened <laughs> at the very least it doesn't look like it bothered him but oh no it bothered yoltik oh no he saw it non-physical triggers jealousy physical man's and woohoo and he is not open to reconsidering he witnessed everything no <laughs> Oh, I ruined it. I ruined it. Actually, he ruined it for himself by showing up here. He's heartbroken. Oh, I feel terrible. Oh, why'd you have to show up and ruin it? Okay, well, her and Yoltik might not um might not be going places anymore, but that's fine, I guess. Because we got Sammy and he he didn't show any signs of jealousy whatsoever. Whatsoever. And they have romantic satisfaction. So I'm wondering what his boundaries are. Oh, yep, just dance the sadness away. Yep. <laughs> Oh, y'all take, go home. Go home, buddy. What are we doing? Oh my God, have you not learned your lesson? He said, can I join in on this? <laughs> Romantic date complete. She earned a bronze medal. Oh, no, 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 honey. I don't want you going nowhere. We had a great time. Let's have an even better time. Let's have a magical first kiss. I'm sorry you're going to have to see this, Yoltik. I do apologize, but... Oh. <laughs> my god no her and yoltik are strained now <laughs> this pack is so funny to me okay oh oh i didn't want this to happen yoltik i tried avoiding it and here we are back at square one and we gonna hop right to it because this video has been going on a little too long now if he rejects me i'm gonna be so insanely pissed all this effort he left oh my i should really get going now thanks for hanging out with me see you later no you're coming right back we're mc command centering you i don't care thank god he said yes okay let's go see see how easily we made him forget about his ex it's like she doesn't even exist his bunny slippers <laughs> oh it still says left side yoltik <laughs> Probably not anymore. Oh, Sammy came so far in this episode from being a sad little bear parading around CE to getting over his ex just like that. We're done for today. You know, this video didn't work out exactly as planned, obviously, because she didn't get to woohoo with Carmen Valentina because they both are not interested in woohoo with women. But at least we got to figure out the lore behind the ring bear and we got to woohoo with him. Thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. Leave a like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed and yes i will be bringing celeste back again since my last video did so well and you guys really love celeste make sure to leave a comment with any of your suggestions any questions you have and which one of celeste's conquests in this episode was your favorites i will see you guys in the next video bye